Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 8 to 10 days. In today's video, we'll also have a look at central England temperature, see how cool it's been through the course of this June so far. So, quite a bit going on, but before I go get on with all of that, just say about the ads. There's many articles on all the pages at Gaspers. Go and have browse widgets, any articles that you're interested in. Please click through, you'll be able to go off and read the article. And thanks so much for doing that. This video adds the most page, they open up in the content. They're very short, so just give them a quick watch and they'll close back up again. And it's all how to pay for the website now. I've been sitting here and talk to you via gazofviz.com. If you're wondering about Glastonbury, there'll be a new Glastonbury update on the events page tomorrow evening. So uh, if you want a detailed sort of look at what could be going on for Glastonbury, come back tomorrow evening to the events page for that. This video will encompass, though, at the uh, latter stages of the video, the uh, start of the Glastonbury period. Anyway, it's around 10 days away uh, now, so uh, when it comes to that, but the actual Glastonbury update will be uh, tomorrow evening. So let's have a quick look at the central England temperature. Provisionally, this is just updated from Hadley. Provisionally, we're standing at 12.8 uh, degrees for June which is an anomaly of 0 0.9 degrees cooler than average. So we're significantly cooler uh, than average at the moment. Um, and once you factor in uh, that, uh, this is probably going to be uh, corrected downwards a little bit at the end of the month. It's normally about 2.2 uh, 0.3 of a degree taken off at the end of the month. We're probably even cooler than this. We're maybe somewhere around 12.5, 12.6 actually, uh, something uh, like that, which, you, which would be over a degree cooler than average. And of course, this is set against 61 to 90 as well. The old, um, the old and cold 30-year uh, temperature average, which en encompasses the cold decade of the 1960s, which loads of cool, uh, wet summers and uh, pretty cold, snowy winters very often as well. So if we was to set this against a more modern and warmer average, say 71 to 2000, or uh, 81 to 2010, actually this would probably be an even bigger uh, negative uh, anomaly. We, we would be well below a degree uh, cooler than average. So it's pretty impressive what we've done here actually for the first half of June. A pretty impressive uh, anomaly, especially for this sort of modern era when we don't tend to get all that much in the way of uh, cool uh, of cool weather. Um, now, a couple of caveats with this. The first one is what I just said, that we're probably going to shave off another 0.2 or 0.3 of a degree at the end of the month. The other caveat, though, is that we're only halfway through the month, so this is all provisional. It's only for the first two weeks of uh, June. It by no means is the final say. It's not the end game for June by any means. There's a cu another couple of weeks to go. Let's just have a very quick look and see when the last time was that we had a significantly cooler than average uh, June. It was um, this month uh, up here, right at the top of the screen. This is June 1991. It came out at 12.1, a very cool, if not a cold June, uh, actually. Very, uh, very cool, uh, very cool June, uh, that one. Interestingly, the next couple of months of that summer of 1991 were very warm. July and August both coming out in the 17s uh, for the central England temperature. So it just goes to show, but even if you have a cool June or a cold June, it by no means is a write-off for the rest of the summer. And uh, that one turned uh, very warm then uh, in July and in August. We haven't really had that many uh, cool Junes since 1991. Most of the 1990s were uh, very warm, very warm summers, of course, for 1990s. You can look back now and say that the 1990s were really a bit of a golden age uh, for hot summers. If you like hot summers, there are many of them through uh, the 1990s. Just this one in 1999, where June, uh, June central temperature that year came out at 13.9. Not cold by any means, but just a little bit cooler than average in June 1999. But then off we go again through most of the 2000s. We get uh, more very warm Junes coming in, particularly, of course, focusing uh, around 2006, which came out at 15.9. I think that was about the warmest, um, or one of the warmest since 1976. Also, 2003 came out at 16.1. Incredible how warm, for, how warm June uh, 2003 was again. That was the warmest since 1976. Um, over the last few years, though, June has actually been cooling a little bit. So 
we get 13.9 in 2008. That was a little bit cooler. And certainly, considering how warm the preceding Junes have been, uh, that was a bit of a shock to the system. Um, not much in 2009, 2010. Both of those were quite warm. Uh, but let's go through to 2011, 2012, and 2013. We get three really quite cool Junes coming through then. So 13.8 in 2011, 13.5 in 2012, the washout summer of 2012 and then 13.6 uh, uh, in uh, 2013. So the coolest of that uh, sequence of three cool dunes was actually 2012, which comes out at 13.5. And that's the coolest in sort of the modern uh, era. That's the coolest since 1991. So if we're going to get the coolest June since 1991, I don't think we can come in cooler than uh, June 1991. Uh, but if we was to uh, get the uh, coolest June since 1991, we have to beat 13.5 in 2012. It looks doable, actually, from where we are now, particularly if you uh, think that we may well get a downwards correction at the end of the month. Um, it does look doable that we could get the coolest June since uh, 1991, so we'll keep an eye on that. These are the GFS temperature and precipitation ensembles for uh, the coming couple of weeks. The red line here, of course, is the 30-year temperature average. You can see we're not going to be deviating that far from the average, really, through, uh, through the ensemble. This is the 1st of July, just here, right over at the end of the uh, chart. So we are almost going into uh, the new month with these, or we are definitely going into the new month with these ensembles. We do get a bit of a pickup over the next few days. So around Thursday, Friday, we're going to see somewhat warmer uh, weather, just briefly coming through. But overall, there's not a great deal going on there. We're generally around average, and at times possibly even a little bit below average through the course of next week. I don't think there's anything there really that could offset um, this cool first couple of weeks that we've had uh, to June, to be honest. So, as I say, it does look doable that we could get the coolest June since uh, 1991, which would be really quite, uh, quite noteworthy. The rainfall spikes are coming back as well, I'm afraid. If you're interested in Glastonbury, this isn't very good news. It's not good news for Wimbledon uh, either, uh, which will be starting, uh, I, I think it probably starts next week. not sure about that, but certainly be starting soon anyway. And it's not very good for either of these events. Plenty of dry weather coming up through the rest of this week. Could be a few showers on Friday as this temperature drop takes place. But uh, not a great deal going on. But next week, we do see the rainfall spikes coming back. So this implies that it could turn increasingly unsettled through the final sort of week to 10 days of June. And as I say, that does um, encompass those uh, events like Glastonbury and uh, and Wimbledon. This is the ensemble for London, and the rainfall spikes are even more evident if we look at Manchester. You can see how the rainfall spikes really do come back next week uh, with a little bit of a, of a vengeance um, for Manchester. It's a pretty wet place at the best of times, of course, but it does imply that I think as we go into the final week or so of June, we may well be getting a deterioration coming along uh, with some uh, pretty significant uh, heavy rain at times. The temperature anomaly uh, for the coming week, the 16th to 24th of June, shows up going to be staying cooler than average. So as I said, there's nothing really to offset this cool first couple of weeks that we've had through June. Um, yeah, we're coming out around a degree cooler than average there quite widely uh, across the country for the coming week, as is the vast majority of Europe as well. It is a pretty dismal start to the summer, to say the least, across much of Europe. The precipitation anomaly for the coming week, 16th, 24th of June, is still coming out a little bit drier than average for England and Wales. It's around average for Scotland. I think this will go more towards the wetter side of things as we go through the next few days. So if we look at this again on Thursday or Friday and we take out uh, this week's mainly dry weather, I think this could start to look a little bit more wetter uh, actually for the rainfall anomaly for next week. So that'll be one to keep an eye on. 
here's the generic charts then, and this is the GFS uh, for Saturday. We find high pressure sitting to the west, and the southwest country still bring down this westerly to northwesterly flow. We may bring an area of low pressure through the country at some point over the weekend. That could take showers and maybe even a longer spell of rain uh, across the country. This high pressure starts to pull further out into the central part of the Atlantic. So a trough is in there over country on Monday the 22nd. Uh, next Monday, the trough is in. The winds are in from the north, so it's cool, and this low pressure, this trough, could well be producing showers as well. That gets out of the way on Tuesday, and we generate a little bit of a ridge uh, from the southwest, um, and that tries to hang on for a while, uh, but eventually this area of low pressure starts to move in off the Atlantic, so by the time we get through to day 10, which is Friday the 26th of June, we find this low pressure coming in, off the Atlantic, and uh, that looks quite significant, and that's day one of the Glastonbury Festival, of course, that could bring some quite heavy rain in across the country, so we've got to watch out for that next week, we could well see this deterioration with showers or longer spells of rain pushing in, particularly through the middle and latter stages of next week, and so I'll be doing a detailed look at the Glastonbury period uh, on the events page tomorrow evening, this is ECWF, again we have this ridge Still just to the west and the southwest of the country to start the weekend. Some sort of trough looks like it's moving in from the north and the northwest as we go through the weekend, particularly Sunday, probably into Monday as well, bringing an increasing risk of showers. Maybe in the north, some longer spells of rain and with the winds coming in from the north. It's generally quite cool as well. Then another little area of low pressure tries to get through during the middle part of the week. That could bring some quite heavy rain to the south of the country. It's Wednesday, Thursday, just as people are arriving in Glastonbury and pitching up their tents. This could bring quite a lot of heavy rain in across the south if this was to come off. Uh, day 10... Friday 26th of June, looks like this. We're trying to generate a little bit of a ridge from the Azores High, which is this high pressure just here. We're trying to generate a little bit of a ridge, but uh, these areas of low pressure look like they're probably going to roll in over the top and bring more cloud and rain across the country. So again, a little bit concerned about the pattern for the final week or so of June. It looks like we're getting, certainly hints anyway of a deterioration taking place next week we've already been quite cool through june of course but it's been generally fairly dry we may be going from cool and dry to cool and wet through the course of next week so that could be one to keep an eye on and overall temperature anomalies do look like they're staying around or below average through most of the uh, next week to 10 days um and a notably cool june could be unfolding uh, come back tomorrow for the five-day forecast, but uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.